Hi everyone, this is a quick, quick review of um, the Silent Night Hate Genie. Self-hating mattress topper. Well, we know the situation we're in, especially if you're in the UK, or probably Europe anyway. Gas bills, electricity bills are going through the roof. So anything that is self-heating that can save you, especially when it's cold, make you sleep more comfortably, you're welcome. So, went to Lidl today, and I found this, self-heating. That caught my attention, self-heating. Uh, yeah, that's what caught my attention, self-heating. So it says it's self-heating, which means you don't need to plug it in. Uh, and it will keep you warm. I've had a um, plug-in mattress topper before. Um, it could be warm, could be too hot. You know, you need to set it and switch it off, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but that's still going to defeat the purpose here because gas and electricity bill is expensive so you want to keep it down so i got this in lidl well i found this in lidl it's different but from saying i got it from lidl and found it in lidl it's fine lidl check the price it was like about 40 pounds i think that's 9.99 and then i just obviously when i would buy things like this and the price are that high i just try and google them and see whether i can get anywhere cheaper lidl is supposed to be cheaper because they're supposed to be the um cheaper supermarket anyway checked it say uh tesco has it for cheaper uh got it for 28 pounds in, in tesco but i had to drive like another six miles to go and get it though uh but yeah it's still worth it so i've got it now uh let's see whether it's going to be good or not i don't know not tried it but one thing i know is that it's not going to be as hot as the one you plug in just reading through, it says ID for heat seekers. Well, I'm seeking heat. A unique heat reflecting layer uh, reflects body heat back to the sleeper, and the thermal lining retains warmth, keeping your bod your bed cozy and warm within the need uh, of for electricity. Without the need for electricity, sorry. So it's saying it's going to keep you warm. It's not going to generate heat. Even though it says self-heating, it's not going to generate heat. It's just going to be reflecting your body heat back to you. Instead of your body heat being dissipated at night, it's going to reflect it back to you. And coupled with the fact that you can have a duvet on top, so that reflects your body heat back. The duvet is good, keeps it within, and then you should be warm. That's the theory. Okay, let's open it there. I have opened it a bit, so let's just see what's inside. All right, I can do this one hand. Can I? No, so I'll come back. All right, unboxed it. So it's one of those that you put to the edge of the bed and that stays on top. I'm looking at it, it's a bit thick. Has some thickness there. That I think that's where the reflector is. That's a bit of, um, it's a bit thick. I can't describe it properly. Um, but I can see why. Yeah, thick, aired, um, good insulation reflects the heat back to you i can see why and i think it's even going to make the bed the mattress more comfortable so you can buy for two things really uh, there are those actually silent that makes things which are better for making your bed comfortable so you can get those but this could serve both to make it more comfortable because if you're sleeping on this it's going to be nicer and then it, re it reflects the heat back to you it's just that when it comes to summer would you want this because it might be too hot um, I'll put it on the bed and let you know, but it's easy to do actually. So you have that elastic there. So all you need to do is put that. So all you need to do, if I use this for example, this is my other one's bed. So if I can do this out. So here you go. So that's how it's gonna be under the under the um, bed sheet. So I'm just using this as a demonstration. That goes under your mattress. And then it holds it up and that will be on top of your mattress. And this bed sheet will be on top of everything together. So not this is not how to do it. I'm just showing you how this hangs or hugs your mattress. That bed sheet comes over everything, then it covers everything up. But yeah, I think it'll be nice. So good deal in tesco 
um i could have assumed that lido is really cheaper and i could have spent like about 40 pounds on this when i could have got it for like about 12 pounds less in tesco so i had to drive to tesco and get it so yeah uh, i'll do a quick review when i put it on the bed and try it out um as for this package well it's not really the most green package but they said this package is reasonable so that's how they try to get their own green credential by saying, uh, we know that what we're giving you is not reusable, it's not sustainable, but we can make it sustainable if we tell you to reuse it. So if you reuse it, then it can be sustainable. Uh, we can get some points there. Actually, Silent Night, I'm deducting points for using non-sustainable uh, materials for your packaging uh, and trying to, trying to put the responsibility on the consumer or the customer to reuse it i can't take that i can't take that for shopping can i yeah i can use it and keep things in here but it's not for shopping so it's a single use let's, let's face it it's a single use i don't know what else i'll use it for so that's not sustainable all right guys so this is not the bed i'm going to use it for this is a double bed i'm going to use it on the king size bed in our room but i've not cleared the room so i'm trying to make a quick video here and i'll let you know like and subscribe guys um but i'll try it out and i'll add that to this video and then we'll see like and subscribe thank you okay guys i've put it on the king size bed and i'm trying to make sure i don't show the whole room because i've not really cleared this place but i'm trying to do it for you so that you can just see um as you can see it comes over there over the mattress the second one comes there and you have it covering the mattress this way and covers the bed in that kind of way as you can see so you have that layer and i think it's gonna make your bed more comfortable so have a look so guys so if i can show you this this is my mattress there's actually one of the covers i have on it it's like a mattress protector so i have a mattress protector here so i'm putting this on top of it so look at the difference between a mattress protector which is just a, a layer just a cloth or something and this look at how thick it is that's the big difference you have in there that's how thick that is that's your mattress protector that's that so you're having a big layer honestly if you oh, just put in my hand and it feels like it's hugging yeah so it is gonna be nice i think it'll be nice so i can't wait to give it a try this night uh in terms of just false look not lying down it looks great gonna sleep on it tonight and then tomorrow i'll give you what i feel about it but so far so good looking good not tried it yet everything's looking good like and subscribe gonna sleep on it and uh, i'll give you feedback tomorrow and i'll add it to this video so uh, this video will be like uh, unboxing uh laying it on the bed using it for one night and giving you my first review okay like and subscribe so what's my verdict on the self-heating uh, mattress topper? I would say it's actually good. I would say it's actually good. Um, obviously, you're not getting the big heat from an electric-powered one, you know, but it's also really good. You don't feel freezing, so um, in my room, I don't know what's going on in my room, it's really cold. It gets to down to like about 18, 19. You need to constantly put the heat on. And it's near a house, supposedly um so this mattress actually kept me warm once you have the duvet on um and you cover yourself and the room is reasonably heat heated it does keep you warm so yes it's a major go i like it uh, it works just so yes guys i'm um, gonna give it a go like and subscribe please you know yeah, that's what i'm doing here like and subscribe you need to get my subscribers count up so please help helping that one so yeah like and subscribe leave some comments too if you've used this um and shop around you know in the uk how to shop around i could have paid um not not twice but almost you know i could have paid like about 35 pounds and i go for like about 28 no i could have paid like 40 pounds and i go for 28 so that's that's a big chunk of number there so like and subscribe tell me if you've used it before and then let's take it from there